Hey y'all, it's James, and this is my channel, James's Boat Bill. So uh, in this episode here, I just kind of want to give you an update of what's been going on. A lot of good things happened to the boat build. Uh, number one, I got the tank back. I'm going to give a shout out to Moody Sheet Metal Works in Daytona Beach. Uh, Dan, young guy, got a couple years under his belt doing the welding. Gave me a good price, and uh, he did a good job. Um, little, A few things I did have to go through as far as like, you know, making sure it was pressurized and it would, the welds held under pressure, being uh, for a, a gas tank for a marine environment. But uh, he took it in and uh, he fixed all the wells, all the little air bubbles that were um, on the top of the tank. And I, I can't say enough uh, good about uh, Moody Sheet Metal. Um, they, they did the work. They were able to fabricate it to my design. They had a good price. And they're stand up. They they knew that they were they had a couple of issues. It wasn't a question about you know anything. They just went ahead, took it, and fixed it, and gave me back the tank. So, shout out to you, uh, Moody Sheet Metal Works here in Daytona Beach. And and I'm, they're not paying me for this. I'm just telling you. Hey, I, I like I always tell you, I'm a guy here in a, a garage trying to build a wooden boat. These are the things I use. I use Total Boat. I believe in their products. It's worked good for me. I didn't know who to go with to uh, get a fuel tank done. I, I went online, come find out the shipping was just going to be as much as the fabricating of the of the tank itself. And it's like, I got to find someone local. So, man, thank God for Moody Sheet Metal, man. I They, they really bailed me out good. And um, I'm really happy. I got a custom fit tank for a custom boat. And that's exactly what I needed. There's the tank in all her glory. Um, she still got the uh, pressure gauge on, and you know, it, I just brought it home, so I'm gonna have to get it, put it in place, and um, you know, I'm gonna clean up this area. It's all been painted t three times with village paint, and that area alone is ready to receive the tank. And now I can work on the deck and start putting the beams in. Uh, what you see up front is uh, this uh, forming right here, this V-shape, is um, the foundation I'm going to need for the uh, the bunks and the sleeper. And uh, you'll get a better visual visualization when it when it's uh, when I get those boards in there. I I have them made up. I just don't have them in there. I I didn't. Uh, have time to do anything today. As a lot of you already know, um, I live uh, with an HOA here in uh, in Florida, and if you had any experience with HOAs, they're quite strict about parking RVs and boats and whatnot. I was fortunate enough to get a good deal over the winter on a brand new trailer. I went with uh, Venture and uh, the Commander series, and. Um, the all aluminum uh, trailer, I got a fantastic price. I couldn't say no, and I snatched it up about a month and a half ago. Um, that trailer's been sitting in my uh, daughter's uh, yard, and she was good enough to let me uh, keep the trailer over there. Her neighborhood, they don't have no HOA, and, and they, uh, you know, it, I wish I moved in her neighborhood. You know, they... Um, you know, people got boats and trailers and utility trailers and, you know, it's just that kind of neighborhood, which is more to my like, to tell you the truth. But um, I had good news and I'm not moving anytime soon out of the place I'm at. Um, I, I found a storage facility that's going to be able to accommodate, keep my boat, my brand new wooden boat out of the uh, elements. And trust me, the worst thing you could do to a, a, a boat is let it sit out in the rain and the sun. And if you ever put a tarp on a boat, oh, that's a. If you got to do it by yourself, it, it's a nightmare. If you get someone to help you, it's just a bad dream. And trust me, you, you don't want to be doing tarping in it. You're going to be discouraged by, like, hey, I want to go for a bo boat ride. They're like, oh, I don't want to take the tarp off. Then you leave the tarp off. Oh, it's only been a few days. And then, you know, it's just a rigmarole. Trust me. 
I've been there. I've done that. I What I need is a shelter that I can get my boat in and out of easily, and it, it's protected from the elements. Number one, the rain. And number two, here in Florida, the sun. Well, like I said, I I hadn't moved the boat out, so I'm just going to show you here. I have a couple of last few patches that I had some little bit divots in. Um, this major problem that I had here has all been ironed out. It's all been smoothed out. Um, the bow, I uh, got it all nice and flat, and it's smooth. The pulpit is it in place, and I'm not going to put it in place because you can see the distance I got between the uh, wall and the end of the boat. If I put it where it's supposed to be, it'll be touching the wall, and I, I, I just can't do it until I put this boat on the trail, then I can permanently mount that pulpit in. One of my subscribers said I should give a road trip. Um, I thought maybe going to the lumber yard where I'm getting my uh, lumber from, which is a good place here in town. Got a lot of uh, specialty lumbers, but quite frankly, I don't need no lumber just yet, so that ain't gonna be happening either anytime soon but i sure like to show you the uh the storage facility i got for my boat it's a winner it's got a good price and uh it's it's secure and I, i'm just really happy about it that i've had that place and, and until i move into a place that you know has uh parking that i can just park it on my own property this is going to be part of the deal i mean it's uh it just that's just the way it is i I don't like having to pay for storage fees, but what are you going to do? Hey, Dan, thanks for building this tank, man. You did a real good job. You're a professional, and I wish you the best of luck in your career. You stick at it, man, and you're going to make some decent money and have a good life. You be good, man. I appreciate you building that tank for me. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. You know what that is, guys? A rocket just went off. That's the, the trail from a rocket that just went off. Oh, that would have been awesome if I would have got it on video. So, uh, Cape Canaveral is about 40 miles as the bird flies, crow flies from here. That's awesome. That's what the trail looks like when a rocket takes off. That is awesome. I wish that could have got it on video. Man, it just happened. Oh, I missed it. Ah. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Hey, this is James, and this is James's boat build. Y'all be good. Bye.